So my name is Ido Segev. I'm a partner with McKinsey. I'm part of our Boston office. Uh, I was, um, today at 6 a.m. I was at Logan Airport. I was sitting down, you know, knowing that I'm coming to speak to you all. And I said, how am I going to start this? Right? So I have a bunch of pages. I know what I'm going to say, but what's going to be the intro? I went on LinkedIn, and then I saw that this morning, Peter Thiel uh, and his VC basically investment ten, invested $10 million in a German insurtech called Koya. This is a seed investment. This is the largest seed investment actually happening uh, in Europe. And I was saying, huh, that's pretty interesting. So Koya, I went on the website. You know, They are trying to essentially do what Lemonade is doing, uh, uh, but in auto insurance. End to end, you know, not just the front end, but doing the claims, doing the underwriting, doing the whole you know, shebang. And I was saying, if you were the CEO of Allianz in Germany, are you worried? What are you going to do about that? So this is a little bit of what I want to talk to you about you know, today. Uh, uh, as a consultant, there are always three things. So we'll start by talking a little bit about the insurance industry, you know, where, it's, where it stands right now from, you know, say, digital maturity. What are some of the pressures? We won't spend too much time on that. The second thing is uh, uh, we are tracking, as a, as a firm, we are tracking the insurtech space. And you know, we have a large database of insurtechs, how much money they raise, what are they focusing, et cetera. So you can imagine that while you're tracking it very closely, there are some things that you see, some patterns that you recognize on where they focus and you know, uh, um, uh, um, what are they trying to accomplish. So we'll talk a little bit about that. And then you know, to the question of, OK, you know, is it really a threat or is it something that inspires us? So how do we make you know, the best of it? And then we'll talk a little bit at the end about what do we see others, how do we see other approaches. So there was a question around, you know, at the end of the Andrew's talk about what do you do beyond hackathons. You know, so we'll touch a little bit about you know, that kind of stuff. Feel free to ask questions along the way, by the way. You know, uh, uh, I, I always enjoy this better than just like talking and then you know, at the end uh, questions. So <clears throat> any industry that is uh, being, uh, any industry actually goes through this disruption curve, if you will. Uh, uh, essentially, if the y-axis is the adoption of digital, so imagine a metric like percent of sales done online, right? You know, the industry over time gets into a tipping point. So think about music. The left side of the page would be, or that slide would be, we, saw rec we sold records in a store. Then it became, because of Amazon, we sold records and CDs online. Then it became, we are selling individual songs online. Then it became, we're just buying music as a service. We, don't, we no longer own the songs. All right, so you see how the industry transitioned. By the way, at some point, towards the hockey stick, a company called Napstar came in and said, you know what, you're uploading all your music online as, you know, to your, your laptops. You know, how about we start sharing that? 